Hi everybody, Susie Q here and welcome to Q Aquatics. I have been being a fish tuber for a year now, grinding out two videos a week. And what I wanted to do is share with you some of the biggest challenges I had. Since there were so many of them, I kind of narrowed it down to seven of the biggest challenges. The first and foremost is being on this side of the camera. This side of the camera makes a little self-conscious. You know, I don't even like the sound of my voice when I listen to it on a voicemail. Although in my own head, it sounds pretty cool, you know? <laughs> that goes for singing too. And I know that's not true. Also the vulnerability of exposing my fish keeping hobby. You know, my tanks, the cleanliness of a glass. If I catch two fish spawning, you know, I might want to grab it really quick, but there's a streak going down the front of this. Like, and if I thought, well, why didn't I clean that first? Or, oh my gosh, all I saw is the dirty plant or the brown algae. But if I go and clean that all up beforehand, I will have missed the opportunity catching some of the action going on inside this community. So that, I, that also makes me feel a little, you know, just put myself out there. So that's one of the challenges. So the number two challenge that I had is, what do I have to offer? What am I bringing to the table? There are people out there that might be new fish tubers, but they've been in the fish keeping hobby for years, decades, had fish tanks from the time they were little, have tons of experience, tons of knowledge. There's also other fish people out there that went to school for it. There's people out there that have done conservation and they just have so much experience. I bring to the table none of that. I'm just sharing my hobby as I'm learning it. It's my first year, now I'm at a year and a half into the hobby. All my experiences of what I'm learning, how I'm learning it, all the mistakes I'm making, and even the wins. Like That was one of the challenges I had to get, get over. Is like There's so many people out there that have so much knowledge and so much experience. I bring to the table a perspective of a newbie, what it's like having fish and wanting to give up because my heart's broken or wanting to give up because I feel guilty or, or wanting to give up because it's too complicated. I bring to the table my hope, my love, my passion for the fish keeping hobby at my level. My number three challenge was like storage space. And I'm not talking because I have over 30 tanks. I'm talking digital storage space. My phone is full, I can't upload it. So I try the cloud, uh, I try external devices, I tried so many different things and the last two weeks I've been crippled with storage full. Um, I was under the impression like the iCloud was going to save space. It doesn't, it's really just a tool to help shuffle around if you want it on this device and that device. But it still saves it on the original device, at least portion of it, to the part where, to the point where my laptop was full last couple times I was to upload a video I had to go live because I had no space. I couldn't transfer information from my phone to my computer. I couldn't take it from my computer, uh, download from the cloud. I can't even update my apps because now everything is false. So that was my third challenge is storage space, digital storage space. One of the fourth biggest challenges that I had was how time consuming editing a video is no idea. I shoot like a half hour worth of footage and it takes me hours of editing to clip out the um hmm, what was I gonna say next blah, 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 and all my bloopers and everything like that. Extremely time consuming the editing and it's not just time consuming the editing. Once you have it edited it's the rendering and uploading into uh, YouTube. Very time consuming. That was number four of my most challenging things in this last year. Number five, my fifth challenging item as a fish tuber, the learning curve of filmmaking. How to shoot a film uh, and, and everything's on my phone. You know, I didn't have a microphone or camera or anything like that. So it was how to shoot a video, how to tell a story, what's a hook, you know, um, how do you get people interested? The algorithm of YouTube, B-roll, what is B-roll? Why would you use that and how do you clip it in? and editing, those kind of things. That was a pretty big challenge this last year. 
The sixth biggest challenge was audio consistency. So I would be filming from my phone and my phone would be over here. Next thing you know, I'd be holding my phone or flip it around. The vocal, the audio gets very loud. I might add some music from, from the software and that would be super loud and trying to keep it to the same consistency. So once a video starts, people aren't blown away with loudness and not huge challenge for me, huge challenge trying to get there. And the seventh and last challenging item that I had was the consistency of an upload. The scheduling and consistency of two videos a week. I have uploaded two videos a week for this last year. Um, it started off with Salty Sunday and Freshwater Friday. They start off with Freshwater Fridays and Salty Sundays. And I had some huge challenges with the salt water in my fish keeping hobby, not necessarily as a fish tuber, but as a, in my fish keeping hobby. So I decided to move over to Freshwater Fridays and Tuesday tanks. I ended up start featuring some tanks and tubs and things like that. So those are my two videos a week. So putting out two videos a week at a scheduled day, or at least by a scheduled day, was like a part-time job. Now keep in mind I already have a full-time job. I have a, had a part-time job working nights. And these two schedules, I just looked at it like it was a job and I have to show up. It's more like it was a commitment. Both my jobs that I had, anyway, I love. So it's, it's not like torture. So don't get me wrong. The challenge was keeping up with it and not sliding just one day because I was exhausted. Having that tenacity to no matter what, two videos a week on those scheduled days, go up and out. Even if it meant that I missed part of the clip or uh, deleted part of the video by accident and had to refilm at night and trying to make it look like it's not at night, doesn't always work out so well. <laughs> as in this one <laughs> so yes I'd have to say keeping to my schedule has been a challenge thanks for checking out my seven biggest challenges and stay tuned because I'm gonna be posting seven tips and tricks that I've learned in this last year next I really appreciate your support so if you have any questions or comments leave them in the section below you guys are awesome thanks